These are locality labels. These specimens were all collected up in Anderson Prairie. Um, so I'm going to take these Anderson Prairie labels. I am going to put the date, today's date on here. The date that these were collected. So the 1st of September 2005. And then after COLL for collector, since I collected these specimens, I will put my name. And I will make one of these specimen, one of these labels for each specimen. The important thing then is to cut off these labels and remove any excess off the tips of the ends of the labels. Once these specimens are dried and ready to be labeled, we can take the specimen, push it through the label like that, and we use the second step for the locality label. Try and get it either lengthwise on the specimen like that or with the head to the left or with the head up like that. Either way is acceptable. Although I find that in large collections especially you can save a lot of space if all your specimens are oriented with the head to the left the same direction as the labels themselves. This third step here will be used to put the determination label where you have the order name, family name, and your name as the person who determined the specimen. And so there will be space, even space between the specimen, the locality label, and the determination label at the bottom. When you use the labels, make the labels, make sure you use the black Micron 005 ink pens that are waterproof, alcohol proof, and they're archival ink.